I just wasn't comfortable leaving the house. And Isabel's attitude today, the best low carb vegan cookies. family we are starting off the morning obviously nice and messy and still in our pajamas as you can see so far the only thing we've done today is take Isabel's first nap because it is now quarter of 12 o'clock I haven't eaten yet I haven't gotten dressed yet I haven't washed my face yet we haven't even left the house yet and we haven't done a single thing yet today so as you can see, I have my little helper in her high chair right now. We're actually gonna go ahead and make some of those low carb chocolate chip cookies. To be quite honest, I have no idea where this vlog is gonna go today because I have no plans for us. Um, I want to make it a stay at home day like yesterday was supposed to be and get the rest of the laundry done. But judging on Isabel's attitude today, it's very similar to how she was yesterday, which is very, not grumpy, but she gets bored very easily, which leads to her being irritated very quickly. Yeah, like she's already getting impatient being in her high chair right now. So my breakfast this morning, because we haven't gone grocery shopping yet, so I still have no bread. Um, and like I said, I've decided to make some cookies, so happy breakfast to me. Mm. I'm telling you guys, the best low-carb vegan cookies. Do you guys just ever have days that you know that you really need a shower and you really want a shower, but you're too tired and too lazy to go take one, but then when you finally get out, you're like, holy shit, like that's the greatest decision I've made all day because that's literally how I feel right now. It's just so strange to me. Well, maybe not super strange, but it's definitely different that I used to worry about, oh my gosh, I never leave the house. And now I feel like I leave the house too much and it doesn't help the fact that the paycheck, the newest one just cleared last night so I just paid all the bills, which means I have to go grocery shopping. I have to get more wipes for Isabel. I have to go, well, I don't have to get her baby books, but I would like to get her more baby books. And all these different things that I have to do. And before having her, and even within her first few months of life, whenever Jacob was gone, I would like refuse to leave the house. I had too much anxiety to leave the house. I just wasn't comfortable leaving the house with just her and I. And I would only go if I had to, which was pretty much for groceries. So it's just very weird now that all I want to do is be out of the house and leave and go places and today I really need to convince myself to just relax because I'm exhausted so I just need to remind myself that I'm not going to go anywhere today I'm going to relax I'm going to stay in maybe make some nice food I'm thinking probably like broccoli and olive oil baked in the oven Isabel what are you doing Oh my god, look at that baby booty. Did I mention my child loves crinkly things? So as I was saying, I think I'm gonna be baking a lot of things today. I know I've got the cookies. I'm thinking maybe make some broccoli and olive oil to set to bake and cook in the oven because I miss that. I haven't had that in a long time. What do you think we should have? Say no more solids for me. But I've also got to kick myself in the and do some laundry. I have to take the trash out. I have to probably sweep the house again because I have to do it at least 200 times a day. All right, so I'm gonna be trying things a little bit differently when it comes to solids with Isabel. Um, instead of feeding her in the traditional high chair or her little bumbo-like seat on the counter, I'm gonna try and do it in her element and just sit us down over on the foam mat and see if maybe that has a difference in how much she likes the food. So I have just pumped some milk while I was just feeding her. Also, I fed her like just two seconds ago. Um, so maybe that'll make a difference. And hopefully this won't be a total flop and she'll actually enjoy the food. But this should be like creating the best outcome possible because I've got fresh milk, which means it's warm. And everything else is good. Now the trick is to get her over here and to keep her over here. I have something special for you. Look, and the camera. Win-win <gasps> situation. 
caught the baby. What's this? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> She's backing away. Peaches and oatmeal? And boob juice? This is probably gonna create a little bit more of a mess, but I'm okay with it if you like the food. She just wants the camera. In all reality, that is the only reason she's over here. Ew, oh my gosh. It is just making it worse that you have baby food. All right, this is probably a bad idea because now she's gonna put that hand down on the couch. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. You guys, she leaned into that one. You leaned into it. Did you want it? You want this one too? Oh my God, you want it. Okay, say mommy, don't get too excited or else baby's not gonna be wanting it anymore. More? Oh, 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 oh. Not ready yet, okay. these hands let me just wipe you off did you smack your head you okay it's okay did you see the camera again Hey baby, you're on the wrong side of the walker to be using it to move. <gasps> Look at you. Where are you going? Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, you guys. Well, as you can probably tell that today's vlog is extremely uh. short, but to take up time for the rest of our day, seeing as how this little one just wants to be on the move and she's being very content with being relaxed inside, I figured we'd come outside. Also, while we're out here, you guys, let me show you a little bit of what I'm normally talking about when I say that we have like the worst yard ever. Um, yeah. And we're gonna be here for the next at least two years, give or take, which means Isabel will be a toddler by then. She should hopefully be walking by the time she's around one, judging by the rate that she's advancing already. And it sucks because we can't even run around the yard without shoes on. And even when we do have shoes on, it still kills your feet. So I do not want my little baby running around at, oh my God, that's a bee. We could have died. <laughs> So while we still have a couple hours of daylight left, I figured because again, today is a really dry day. Like it's not humid at all. I'm not sweating. I don't feel hot. I'm so content with this. Honestly, if the temperature was like this every single day and the humidity was down as low as it is every single day, I would be outside all the time. <coughs> So as I was saying, since we do have a couple hours of daylight left, I figured why not come outside, the dogs get to run around, and we all get to hang out. Well, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I already know it was super short. You don't have to tell me. And I just wanna say, if you guys are not already subscribed, please feel free to do so down below. Connect with me on social media. I'm like down to meet new moms. I'm down to meet anybody. I don't care if you have kids or not. I love connecting with you guys. It is so much fun to get to know other people, where they're from, what their life story is, what they're doing right now, and what their successes are. Cause I just, I love learning about other people. And if you don't already have your post notifications on, if you want to be notified of any of our future uploads, 
Anyways, as I was saying, if you want to be notified of any of our future uploads, click the little bell down below so you can be notified. And that's going to be it for today's video. So we will most likely see you tomorrow because after a day of doing nothing, I always have to find myself doing something. And I need to go grocery shopping. I probably need to go rot to Ross and a couple of their stores. Say so, all right, Hobie family. Thank you so much for joining us today. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Turn on those post notifications. And we'll see you tomorrow.